Hello guys and girls and welcome to this again to your bargain bin of entertainment. Today we start a new season of Formula 1 2020. I'm actually generally looking forward to this. Like I love racing games. I'm not the best at them as you're about to find out. Uh, but before we start I've already made the character that I'm going to be using which is this one. And all sorted out so I don't have to do that. I've not even touched the car yet because I ran a poll on Twitter for what colour I should do the car, what I should name the car. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you go over there now. Drop me a little follow uh, so you can join in this kind of thing. So we're going to do one season and see how we go. And if we do terrible and you hate it, then I'll stop doing it and I'll just play this by myself. But, um, but yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. Have some fun with it. I'm going to try and make it a little bit realistic, but with some aids because obviously I'm not the best driver. And I'm going to start off by doing this at about 70 AI. Uh, it goes to 110, so it is going to be challenging. But without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, so yeah, as we said on Twitter, people did ask for it to be called Always Last Racing Team. Uh, the racing team, can't, we can't actually fit it all in, so I've got to put it together. But yeah, I've done that now. I have been watching other people do this, and I've seen a couple. Gold bonus. Earn 15, uh, weekly income 241. I don't think we'll be able to do that yet. And five would be able to do that. The sign on bonus is 4.9 though. 5.1, what's that? Achieve five point finishes during the season. We're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Ah, all right, I get you. See, Ferrari's is the best performance and durability however i think mercedes would be the one to go for so then we've got money left over to do other stuff 89 nine the durability at 93 though we have to choose that really because i'm not the best driver so i'm just going to be absolutely throttling this so i'm going to go with that right so we've got 4.9 for sign on so we're going to be left with like next to nothing but he's the best rated one there, so hopefully that should help us out. Then if you've chosen something different, I'm sorry. Right, but I think this is what I'm going for. Go for. You let me know what you've done in the comments below as well. That'd be great. Let's make it hideous. Since this is what you guys wanted, I'm going to make this car look absolutely hideous. That looks good to me. That's the color scheme that we're going to go for. Thanks for that, guys. Since we're going all pink, I think it's only right to to make ah that looks all right maybe get this one like a purple oh my god you made these hideous right, there we go least, that's what we're going with to pick team colors for the rest of our branding you'll see these colors throughout hq well i think it's safe to see what colors we're going to be going for since everything else is that color <laughs> so we're going to do the whole 22 to give you the whole content that you wish vehicle damage we will do full so it is going to be damage on there if we crash we will know however we are going to be doing flashbacks as well right so we're going to go casual as well and as i said at the beginning we are going to be doing this at 70 and so it is hard it's not the hardest it does go up to 110 however i just want to be able to still do a little bit of it so right, there we go and we are ready right Right, I think that's it. I think we're actually in the game now, guys. It only took 10 minutes. <laughs> Hello, folks, and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive ah, insight right. into first what ever could interview. Be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. How great I've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number yeah. Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course has and while some have proved to be successful others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely what marks this team out though as being something that's all, different that's not us. is I that its owner disappear at is all. also its driver now, there's a rich history of that in Formula 1 too Sir Jack Brabham John Surtees Graham oh, Hill driver. and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars so that's in the pretty sport. good so we has actually become own the... increasingly rare in recent as well, so years. Everything What's very special about this team, right, though, is cool. that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever yeah. happens this season, 
You've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? I right, so it's like multiple questions, like multiple choice. And I'm guessing whatever we do here affects the team. This isn't just about me. This is about my team and I'm 100% proud of them yet. Yeah. Why well, I wouldn't even take on the task if I didn't believe in myself and the team. Together we're unstoppable sounds more confident. So I'm going to go with that one. Every team needs two drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammates? What's that you drew me? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one we could afford. <laughs> and Sam, what would new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. I think that's good because the, if you're trying to be sweet, aren't you? You're trying to sweet them over. So I think I'm going to go with that one. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Well, we're always last. We're always last. And I think Haas is probably the one that we have to go. I think we've got some magic in us. We're going to have a few close races with Williams. Williams is the lowest, so I think we'll go with Williams for now. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The chassis balance is incredible. Right, traction out the corners. Same day it looks good, but we don't know until we get out on track. Right, so this one is down to... It's responsible. This is surely down to... The Maximum traction. I would probably go with chassis. It's a good chassis on your car. Makes it a lot more aerodynamic. Uh, but traction on corners will be great as well. So. As possible as pop. And then. Uh, attraction out of corners. That's power. Going into corners. That's braking. Uh, the chassis. I'm going to go with chassis. The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? How are you planning to catch up to them? A lot of money, hopefully. Right, a fresh pair of eyes can find solutions that other teams haven't seen. And we've found it in some unique ways of reducing drag. Series 4, a lot of complex the power unit. we found plenty of room to innovate in our ERS. The key is the efficiency we've got out of the power unit. Right, so this is more about power then. And... Um, Right, fuel loads are the key to reducing the weight of the car, but out of the power unit will keep the weight down. I think that's what we're going to go for. Overtaking is a yeah. key part your of this sport. Train, ah. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage are of each opportunity that comes your way? Alright, F1 isn't just one race, it's a whole season rigorous stress testing, but we haven't done that because we're new, so... <laughs> uh, overtaking is all about power. So we've been working hard to get every bit of performance out of the power unit. We've developed an incredibly light car. This helps with both top speed and through the corners. Let's and do finally, that. We'll go with chassis, I think. Which of new departments are you most proud of? Are you most proud of? Right, we've done chassis twice. Um, durability. It's been really proactive in testing. Our power unit department really had to hit the ground running. Engine or durability? I'm going to go with engine. Get the power going. Well, that's about all we've got time for here. So we will kind see of how ups. this fledgling team fares. Our chassis and our powertrain. So hopefully, right, there's quite a lot of detail in this. I thought it was just going to be racing, but obviously not. Wow! Right, there is loads to do here. Right, right. So we've got 500k. Everything's pink and purple. Always last racing team. Activities. All right. So you put all your own activities and everything. And messages. That new car smell. Break room last week, and Ruth tells me the other servers are oh, right. So, yeah, that's just telling you all about it. You've got to get yourself together, all right? So, we need to see them, all right? All right L1 R1 facilities, our powertrain and resource point. We've done really well there, but yeah, we've done well with the powertrain. We could do better with these, all right? But we don't really have the money for that. We've got 1000. Whatever that is, we've got 500,000k. What's this? No idea. Alright. Right, so we're actually above Williams and Haas at the moment. And having a purple thing means that will actually stand out as well. And all of the morale is good. Right. 
15 minutes later. So it's took me a while to get to this point because I didn't know which one to take. And I have actually decided to go with the driver training camp. Just because it gives the second driver more pace, awareness, racecraft and experience. So if anything, if I'm useless at the game, we've got someone that's actually quite good. So I'm going to do that. We can't fit anything else in. And so I'm guessing we just go to advanced time. Right. And it's time to reveal the car. Let's go! I cannot wait to see this. I cannot wait to see how bad this is. <laughs> oh my. That is awful. <laughs> yes! Yes! I love it. I absolutely love that car. That is right up my street. <laughs> I do see that we've got more points. So what does that mean? All right. View R and D tree. Oh, wow. Whoa, all right. This is new. All right. All right. I have no idea how to get on from this now. All right. Overview. Advanced. All right. So we are now going to advance. Get some more money in. So we've got 877. Got the advertisement key. And now we are actually at Australia. We're ready for the first race weekend. So for now, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to leave this here just as a starter and for this whole season to go on. So our first race is a brand new episode. And as always, if you've enjoyed the content, remember to press that subscribe button and leave a like as well so I know and leave a comment if you would do anything different or if you don't agree with something. We'd be great to hear from you. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in Australia.